Wow, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 here we go. What is up, my people? How you doing? How's it been doing tonight, man? I'm doing pretty fucking good myself. Thanks for asking. The channel, kicking it off. This is Castle of the Force of Shadow. Guess I've been keeping this game for a long time. I've actually, I have it on PC. I've rented it on 360. Played it several times. I'm like, look, I gotta wait for the perfect time. It's games with gold. It's free. I own it now, and I'm like, let's go. Let's go. This is one of the only Castlevania games I have not played. I love the series. Played through this intro at least 20 times. The furthest I got with, was um, in the swamp. That little time, like you're doing a little puzzle. You can collect these fairy things. You know, anyway, we're playing this game. Excited to play. It's supposed to be really good. It is good, like, as far as I'm concerned. But shit, man. I remember downloading the demo back in the day, the ice demo. It was like it's giant. It's like an ice giant, right? It basically it was fucking. It was basically the Shadow of the Colossus. I <laughs> mean, let's be real. Hey man, I'm not hating on it. That's, that's cool. Actually, really cool. The giant section right there. What I really find mysterious, really kind of super interesting about this game is that Kojima Studio worked on this as well. With regular Steam. All unlocked. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All unlocked. Like we have some XP here, it's, it's straight up about You know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, I remember the cross whip. When they first introduced it. Like, That's been cool. Like, I don't even know which Belmont this is. Even if it is, he is a Belmont. It's fucking cool that he has a cross. That extends into a web. Web was it's an interesting concept. 
So he, he has a whip at his side, but it's it's a cross that has to do with the power of the holy magic. There's all kinds who? of lore they could dig deep with that. Who are you? I am Gabriel. The motherfucking daddy ho. I have traveled here seeking the guardian of the lake. You are from the Order? They sent you? How do I find them? He... He will find you. In the forest. Your axes are pretty solid too. Even though it looks a little bit... Got some jaggies, low res, but still looking solid. Guillotine. Oh, fuck yeah. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. I have the air to ground combo. Definitely. One hundo. Thank you, baby. He's all we can afford anyway, so. We have 70. That's cool. Okay, so we got different trials and different difficulty modes. I'm a big fan of that. Anyway, let's I follow forward. him into the old We're forest, the story watching right now. him from let's afar. Go. Let's get it. He is strong indeed. The one god comes to drive. By the way, is anyone out there? What motivates a man to confront the challenge? Is that most of us Anyone out there really excited to play in the Reach him to solitude, Master Chief Collection? Exposing him to defeat That's me, homie. and death. That's me. God of War style games, ARPGs with the caveat of XP games and shit. I love it. Princess Darksiders. Love that series. Hated the puzzles and the dungeons, but I did like it. Oh, 
Pretty cool cinematics. Took a screenshot of it. It looked pretty epic. <laughs> so I had to get a Kodak moment. Is a Belmont in the storyline? Trinity Five, let's go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do we have here? Oh, I love that finisher. Carries in this shit too. Okay. Direct heavy. Save our points. We're gonna save our points. Alone again with only his thoughts as company, he continues on his journey to find the one he seeks. Who or what was that strange creature? 
There is a power here that few know. Well, we're going to get swifty. Some serious jaggies going on here, like damn. All the capacity jumps. Okay. This is basically God of War. It's basically God of War. It's annoying. Pick up the grenade before it explodes. Move RT to get it, okay? Alright, 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 alright. What where is it? Quick response time. Combat. Like, ooh, that's nice. Interesting game. It's like Hideo Kojima worked on a Castlevania game. Cool. Let's let's explore that. Like I need to see that shit. Not that I ever played through. I played through Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid One and Two. I didn't play through three. Metal Gear Solid One really touched me in a way. It was like, man. It blew my mind as a game on PS1. It blew my mind. And when I played it on PS2, it blew my mind again. I was like, damn, Metal Gear Solid 2 was phenomenal. What they did with the hardware, same thing with Metal Gear Solid 1, it was just revolutionary. Metal Gear Solid 3, I didn't have a chance to really, I had, I had it on PS2. Didn't really have a chance to dive deep into it. What are we doing here anyway? I gotta go through the middle. How stupid is that? Get off me, bitch. But man, those first two games in the Solid series, 
just wow. Mind splitting amazingness. That those are the games that showed you how incredible someone with a vision could make an interactive experience. These were no longer video games. These were interactive experiences that took that transported you to another world. And that's what made them so incredible. I just my hat is off to Kojima. And he's doing the same with Death Stranding coming out soon. I'm like, I might get a PS4 just to play that. Because man, what he did for me on PS1 and 2 can't be replaced. It just cannot be replaced. And there are many, many, many gamers that agree. Like those games blew our minds transported us to other realms of possibilities. Kojima freaking headlined that shit. And he is... He demands the, the most respect. Behind the Mario creator, of course. Which was... Uh, fuck, what's his name? <laughs> Of a frill, though. Miyamoto is top dog, he always will be. He pioneered the whole fucking thing, man. But, there are also people that took it to the next level when it comes to video games. And it's like, Kojima's Hall of Fame, absolutely. No question about it. The shit he made is just so fucking artistic. It's like Miyamoto has Mario and that blew the lids off of everyone. What, what everyone thought a game was. We're doing the same shit. He's like, guess what? We got electronics now. We got graphics. I'm going to integrate storytelling. I'm going to integrate depth of control and feel and integration of the player. It's like... If Miyamoto was step one. Kojima was at least ten steps ahead of him. I'm not saying that in disrespectful manner. It's just that's how it is. Because they were thinking like, yeah, Mario had a story, dude. Mario had a fucking story. Rescue the princess. Very simple. Bowser sold the princess. Yada yada. But then you get into the depth of fucking Metal Gear Solid. Talking about. Wow, what a you got Super Nintendo stories, you got Sega Genesis games. Man, the Kojima came around. It was like, holy oh, fuck. Man. This is not even a game anymore. It's put a lot of people like, this is an experience. It's still a game, obviously. 
But this shit is an experience, man. It's it's no longer bullshit that the public wants to peddle it as. Because video games had a hard knock for a while. You know, it's like, oh, video games are just video games. Well, guess what? Another one of the most interactive and robust and amazing ways to tell a story. And involve the player in what you want. If you want to in integrate your audience into something really invigorating and immersive, Keyword is immersive. It's time to make a video game, homie. That's what I got to say. What am I doing here? Oh, I have grenades in my pick it up! Idiots. Yeah, screwed up. Okay. I got wrapped up in talking shit. No, please, no. Oh, it hurts so bad. I love that air assault. It's so good. Straight from God of War. Come on, let's go, motherfucker. Peanut butter. God, the graphics are so, so grainy. You can knock grenades out of them. Okay, cool. Cool, I'll do it. I want to play Dante's Inferno. I'm going to play that next. Yeah, we go. Fuck out of here. That way. The graphics are so blurry. Like, damn, did this really look this bad on 360? <laughs> I guess it did. We we're like, oh, it's so good. And I'm like, give me fucking. 17k graphics. 
or else I'll fuck you. I need 17k graphics. It's like, damn, dog. You know what's funny? Like, looking back at the NES or Super Nintendo graphics. Super Nintendo graphics. Hold the fuck up. They're gonna look up. They're gonna look good regardless of how far in the future we get. You know why? Because it scales. The 2D graphics, they scale. 3D graphics do not. They could, but the emulators, they need to fix the emulators. That's all it is. Gotta be fixed. All emulators need to be future proof. It's pretty much that simple. If it's not, then you're stupid. Why are you developing an emulator that's not future proof? Should be capable of maxing out resolutions, including 24K. Don't be a dumbass. You should prove your shit so you're more relevant. You know, that's, that's what I would do. If I was making an NES, a regular Nintendo emulator right now, I would develop that shit and be like, Yeah, my shit's ready for 8K, bro. It's ready for 72K. However high you want to do it, you can do it. Oh shit, we're going to the church. Damn, this looks pretty bad though. I'm like... <laughs> my graphic whore in me is like, ugh. This looks pretty gross. <laughs> Which is funny because like NES games, they still look super good. And so does Super Nintendo. But damn, this shit, ugh, it looks nasty. That low res looks nasty. Like, come on, son. That's the difference. Like, look, you look at an old school PS1 game, you're like, oh my god, it looks gross. One game was fucking horrible. I just wanted to be the one to tell you. <laughs> but damn, dude. This looks bad, too. This is gonna be. Oh my god, it's blurry. We're gonna look back on this and be like, fuck no, sir. You know what's funny though? I wonder if the people that play this, like myself, in 20 years are gonna be like, oh man, this is nostalgic for me. I don't think so. Why? You know because it's weird. With 2D graphics, you can get super high resolution, and it's just gonna look super crisp. It's not gonna be that much different. Yeah, it's gonna look good, but the difference in this and 4K. Is fucking phenomenal. Like it's a huge step up. I don't think anyone's gonna be like, oh, I, was... I don't know though. That's gonna be interesting to see the psychology behind it. They're like, oh, I remember it being blurry, or <laughs> man, I remember just, uh, <laughs> you know, looking like shit. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it can go either way. What's going on here? Where am I going? <sighs> okay. Doing some dumb shit, okay. Gotcha.
what? I don't care. So move forward with the game, please, you fucking sack of ass fucks. Dude, really? Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Games that don't tell you where to go. Like, fuck you. Just figure it out. Walk around our world for a while and you'll figure it out. Go kill yourself, you fucking idiots. I mean, it's really that... I'm not... Obviously, this is it, right? Oh my god. Oh, I gotta jump up. I hate this game. I hate it! Okay. Forgive me, brother, but my need is far greater than yours. That's legit, son. My God, my homegirl's calling. Yeah, you fucking bitch. What's up? No, if if I'm answering my phone, I'm not being kind at all. Yeah, you're right. Put me in your will, you fuck. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? Uh, playing some video games, getting drunk. Jim Beam and Bud Light. It's a wombo combo, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I did earlier, but not right now. I, th I felt like I was like, let me regulate myself because if my kid was doing this, I'd be like, you need to calm down. <laughs> so I'm like, what would I do if my kid was doing this? I would say, I need, you need to calm down. Well, I just felt like I might need to. Thank you for reminding me that I shouldn't, though. Turn up! Skirt, 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 skirt! Brrrr! Boop, 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 boop! Well, I'm glad you're here. Good to hear from you. Are you fucked up yet? God damn it. Huh? 
Um, I'm gonna say about 65%. 